Hello everyone out there on YouTube land, this is John. Welcome back to another food review with me. Today I'm going to be doing a review of something that I haven't done in a long time, and that is a bowl of ramen. A couple things in this video is going to be reviewed, three things actually. First of all is this newer, I say newer because I've had this for a while. This is the hottest version of the Samyang hot chicken, uh, bulldog bokumyun style of ramen. So you can see the, the bag is kind of smaller than typical. Um, they call it a mini, but this one is 12,000 Scoville heat units. Um, so that is the most it's been so far, I think. Because normally it's like 44, then double is 88. So almost a full three times X spicy for this mini style Bulldog Pokemon. One thing I found interesting was on the, the sauce packets and the condiment packets, they have these little bombs on them. So that's a new design. Um, the other ones would say 2X or they have the, the just the Korean wording. This one says mini, it has the bombs on it. Other than that, you make it the same way. You boil up the noodles, you get rid of most of the water, you add the sauce pack to it, saute that in the pan for a little bit, put it in a bowl, and then you add the topping, and the topping is the same thing. A little seaweed, a little sesame seed. Now I'll show you the bowl real quick, but first I want to show you something else that's in the bowl already. And those are these. This is the Samyang Bulldog Bokumyun Fish Cake Sausages. It's interesting because it says hot chicken sausage, hot chicken flavor sausage, but there's no chicken in here, but there is meat in here, but the meat is fish. It's a surimi, which is a, a, a small little fish they use to make fish cakes out of. It also has like starch, chicken flavor, eggs, sugar, milk, protein, some uh, spices, cheese powder, and capsaicin, which is the one that makes the thing that makes it spicy. So these things they come in like a plastic wrapper and little metal tips on the ends, and then it has this little pull tab, which didn't really work for me all that well. You're supposed to pull it, and it tears like a loop around the top. You pop the top off, and you either push it out or peel it back. Eventually, I got it to work, but it wasn't that easy. Um, these. I believe it can be eaten raw. They're pre-cooked and packed. Uh, they don't need to be refrigerated. I heated mine up just a little bit, which I think probably was not a good idea because it started making fumes. It's made me uh, almost pass out. Um, that's always slightly exaggerated. But here, here it is in my bowl. Let me show you everything else. There's the noodles. You see the sesame and the little uh, seaweed flakes on top of there. All right. And then I also have a, a drink that's going to cool down myself with later on. And that is also ramen related. This is cup beer. It's supposed to be designed to look like cup noodles which you know is a one of the first, if not the first, instant ramen um, that you can get in airplanes and stuff sometimes. But this beer is supposed to be noodle flavor. That's right. It contains alcohol, 4.4%. And this one says, our take on the Goza, which is like a sourish type beer, Brewed with ramen noodles, lime zest, ginger, lemongrass, and seaweed cured seed salt. Crisp, tart, and slightly salty. Style is noodle beer. I don't know if that's a, a new style. Refrigerate 24 hours prior to opening. I just took out of the fridge. 500 milliliters, 6.9 fluid ounces, 8 IBUs. Not, it says OG 11P. I'm not sure what that means. Not familiar with that. Uh, then it tells you the lactobacillus. It's like a, a bacteria, a mold, or something like that that makes 
it ferment properly in the Goza style. Uh, malt beverage, natural flavors, the Brett series. Should be interesting. Let's pour that out so it's ready. All right. There we go. I have my cup beer ready to cool me down from this 12,000 Scoville heat unit ramen. And here we go. It is spicy. It's already it's instantly a stung my tongue. When I put it in my mouth and it stung. And there's hiccups. <laughs> it is spicier than the two X for sure. One of the main problems with hiccups is you know they're going to interrupt you for both speaking and swallowing, so you have to try to almost time them out or predict them while you're talking or eating. All right, let's go. a bite of this fish sausage. It's pretty solid texture all the way through. Definitely a seafood smell to it. Whew. My face is leaking. Sausage is actually really tasty. This is dangerous stuff. I'll be careful not to touch my eyes. But yeah, this is hot. Compared to the regular fire noodles and the 2X. This is definitely like three X. I need another napkin here. A fresh one so I can blot my eyes from the tears. Gonna uh, scrape up the sides. I'm gonna finish the sausage first. Sausage is almost a reprieve.
I think in the future, if you were going to put that sausage in a bowl of noodles, you would chop it up. All right, here we go for the finish. Done. mini and not a full bowl. It's also been a while since I've had something really spicy. All right, let's cool down with this cup beer. It is tart and salty. Definitely taste the lime in there. This one is a butt kicker. I did eat something before I did this, so I would have not an empty stomach, but I still feel it in my stomach. It hurts to breathe. I'm not really getting any noodle flavor sorry this the beer part of this review is going to suck it's just gonna be me in pain craft beer or death it's feeling like an and right now so overall this beer says it's a noodle flavor i'm just not tasting that it's a lot sour salt and lime with a little bit of ginger I'm not getting any seaweed flavor or noodle flavor. Excuse me. Though that could just be because my face is on fire. I think I'm getting my bearings a little bit better right now. Let's go ahead and give it another taste. I'll tell you what I feel about this beer. You can see it's got a cloudy color. I imagine that's from the wheat and the noodles. I really like just getting the starches out there, there and into the water, making it a more cloudy consistency. So that aspect, I would say, yeah, it is a noodle beer because it's getting it, making it cloudy like this. Anyway, other than not tasting exactly like a cup of noodles or being noodle flavored, it's not a bad beer if you like gozes. I feel like a, a tart, uh, slightly salty flavor to your beer. This is pretty good. It's only 4.4%, so it's a nice uh, sipper throughout the day that will go easy on you. It's light and refreshing, almost like a kombucha. Like a kombucha, it has like that live active strain of yeast in it. That gives it a really wild tart flavor. Interesting. I probably wouldn't try it again. Uh, maybe if I was like at a restaurant and they had it on the menu, I would give it another shot, but I wouldn't buy another bottle of it. But it is an interesting curiosity. I'm going to give this beer. 7 out of 10. Then I'm going to go and try to recover my face here. Hope you enjoyed this video. Give a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Until next time. Bye. Samyang, stop. Stop with this one. This is as far as you need to go. This is about a 3x level. Don't go any spicier than that. Uh, I would say 2X was the spiciest that still was flavorful and enjoyable. Um, the new and improved one, I think that probably still is the case, but this 12,000 one, 
you can keep it. The, the chicken flavor is just lost at this point. It's just hot. Bye.